People had to go to the hospital tonight after a fire tore through a Vancouver apartment complex. That's right. This is video of that scene, and our Fox 12's Kendra Kent spoke with one neighbor there who escaped that fire. She joins us now live with much more on this. Kendra? Yeah, that's right. And as for those three people who were taken to the hospital at this time, we don't know much about their conditions. We're still waiting on that information. As you can see, uh, still an active scene here, and it has been for hours, although many of the firefighters have left. But this fire ripped through this apartment building behind me. I know it's dark, but you can maybe see uh, some of the, the black charring behind me there. We do have some video from earlier this evening as Vancouver firefighters were mopping up and keeping the debris wet to help prevent new flames from popping up. Firefighters say the fire broke out just before 6 this evening. And these are the Autumn Chase Apartments off of Northeast 7th Street. Firefighters say one person was rescued by ladder from a second story balcony. The fire department says it's still working to determine the cause of the fire and they're not sure exactly how many units were damaged yet. But a fire spokesperson says a number of people will not be able to return to their homes tonight. We spoke to one man who says the fire started in his next door neighbor's home. I just hear my neighbor scream fire. She's saying help, and so I just put on my shoes and I run outside, and she's standing there pointing, and I run out to the corner of the building, and I just look through a window, and her kitchen's in flames. And Hunter Dudley says he knocked on his neighbor's door to make sure they got out okay. After that, he says he could only watch as a fire grew bigger until crews arrived and put it out. Now he's wondering if any of his belongings are left. I was pretty shocked, but now, you know, it's mainly just, now that everyone's safe, it's mainly just, you know, being able to replace, you know, going through the whole insurance policy and all that. And firefighters say that the Red Cross has responded to help those people who are now without their homes tonight. Now, meanwhile, we do expect to find out more about those people who got hurt tomorrow. Reporting live tonight in Vancouver, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.